Hi everyone, it's Ann. Today we're going to take a look at another brand new deck, newly released deck. It was just released last week, I believe. It's called Spiritual Tarot and it's in a two-part uh, hard case box and it's published by Low Scarabeo. Here's the top and the bottom. All right. And it, the lid lifts up, so that's just plain white. And then the cards are underneath with the guidebook. So then it just slides out, just plain white in the bottom and on the top. And it closes up, hard case. All right, so that's the box. And with Low Scarabeo, you get your uh, standard Low Scarabeo guidebook, so that's the thickness of it. All right, we'll take a look at the guidebook after we look at the cards, and then they always include a title card, and then they have their marketing card. And the backs. Very interesting. It looks like an alien of some sort, right? Outer space and an alien. Very interesting. Of course, it's not reversible. And the deck is not gilded, so there's no gilding. Very slippery because, uh, as you can see, there's a laminate, there's a sheen. Feels plasticky versus papery. And it looks like it's standard. Yeah, so it's standard uh, tarot card size. It's the equivalent of the plaid back tarot cards. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. As you can see, pretty much borderless, have a borderless feel. There is this thin frame like but uh pretty much borderless and then you have the number and then the title of the card underneath so let's zoom in get a close shot all right so we have the full and i skimmed through the guidebook really quick and the author said she channel quote unquote channel each of the major arcana cards um, and she actually recommend this deck to be used uh, as for as a meditation tool for meditation versus for divination. But of course, the choice is yours. But that's just her recommendation from what I read in the guidebook. So here we have the magician. So there's a lot of details in these cards from what I uh, skimmed through really quick when I opened up the book, and um, it's very deep. They're very deep, like look at all the details on his stomach. The high priestess. So r right off the bat, you can see it's uh, definitely not a uh, right or weight system, but it, you can still read it. It's very, um, intuitive like empress is not standard she's not sitting out in the garden with the animals but you can see she's pregnant and see what i mean with the detail there's an eye on her stomach it's very interesting there's a lot of things that you can pick up doing a reading as an intuitive reader i really uh like it emperor to me when i first looked at this it made me think that he's a shapeshifter because see how there's a wolf and a cat. I can't tell what that is. But uh, very interesting. So it allows you to pick up a lot of details in a reading, in my opinion. The higher font. So a totally different higher font. There's the two students, but they're laying face down in the light strip. Uh, 
is hitting them and then there's two more so there's actually four and it looks sort of sinister so very very interesting oh it's like he's it's like he's channeling someone look at that or it's being possessed by someone very deep cars you guys these are very deep i can see why she recommend you meditate with them so the lovers beautiful beautiful am i cutting anything off no it's just cut off right there that's just the card love the purple and the pinks he's in it the chariot movement strength not a lion, but it looks like an octopus. But it depicts the same thing, strength. The hermit. Meditation, isolation. Wheel of fortune. It looks like different groups of people around the world that was my first take of it but i'll have to look at it more and meditate with it see what else comes to me justice you have the scale other things in here the hanged man that's pretty much um standard except he he has a uh, light coming out from his eyes i thought that was interesting death temperance the angel has black wings and white wings or is this Part of her wings, I can't tell because there's white here. See, there's many different ways you can look at these cards. So there's black and white feathers floating. So this is her wing. And what is this white and what is this black? Is there another angel? I don't know. Now, I like this devil card because it depicts attachments. You know, when you have negative... Uh, negativity around you it sucks you it sucks your life energy it sucks it sucks the living daylight out of you i really like this depiction of the devil like he has his tent tentacles out attached to everyone sucking their energy sucking their life force that's my interpretation <laughs> the tower now this is a very interesting tower also because there's like seems like people of the light and then there's other forces and they're coming in it's very interesting this is a very uh like i said it, it looks like this is someone extraterrestrial so it's very um interdimensional i don't know if that's the right word so the star I didn't understand this star card, but uh, it looks like the person, no, nope, it doesn't, a little different, but they're coming in. There's a path of footprint, very different star card. The moon, different phases of the moon. So the, the child, the maiden and the crone, different phases of your life. The sun very bright sun the sun is like scorching hot sun judgment wake up call the world now this world is very interesting also i didn't understand but very different world Okay, so that finished the Major Arcana. Now moving on to the Minors with the Suit of Cups. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Overflowing emotion, beautiful rainbow. I'm assuming this is the Heart Chakra because it's green. 
I really love this Two of Cups. It reminds me of Twin Flames. Very, very balanced. Look at this. Very balanced. Very balanced. Male and the female. Connecting. Creating light. Beautiful. Very nice. Three of Cups celebration. Four of Cups. I like this shell table. Five of Cups regrets. She's crying into the cup, the whole cup worth of tears. Six of Cups. I really like the Six of Cups too. Although I don't understand why there's multiple people, but it looks very even, like reconnecting. I love the background. It's like they're in the Garden of Eden or a lush forest or something. Like the background on the other one too, very, uh, lots of greens. I don't understand these things on there. Are these like gems or stones or crystal they're wearing? It's each different color. See. Lots of things you can focus on, on a reading. Now this Seven of Cups is very interesting. I don't understand it because traditionally it's a guy waiting, right? Waiting patiently for what he's planted. Uh, I don't know what, no, no, that's Seven of Pentacles I'm thinking. Seven, okay, Seven of Cups is traditionally um, options, choices with all these cups in the air with the castle and the different things I was thinking of seven of pentacles okay so seven of cups I guess they there's different choices here I don't I don't know eight of cups so the cups are spilled but it doesn't depict she's walking away she's just sitting there Beautiful card though, Nine of Cups. So this is like under the sea. Now this Ten of Cups is very interesting. It's like normally a happy family with a rainbow, but this deck is like I said, very worldly, like even out of this world, like all people from different pasts. See, there's even an alien guy coming together as a family as a universal family coming together. I really like this card. These cards are really deep. Page of Cups, Underwater, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Reminds me of Neptune. That guy in Virginia Beach the statue in Virginia Beach, if you guys been to Virginia Beach. All right, moving on to the suit of pentacles with ace of pentacles, luscious green, new start. Two of pentacles, infinity, symbol. Three of pentacles, I like this. They're working together. Again, it's like very outer worldly. Instead of working together in a church, they're working together out in the forest and they're creating something with sacred geometry. Very wild. Four of pentacles, lots of coins. Five of pentacles got kicked out so they're picking up their belonging and leaving the castle six of pentacles that's pretty much traditional meaning seven of pentacles here's the card that i thought so here he is with all that and all the fruits eight of pentacles i like this eight of pentacles working working creating working hard. Nine of Pentacles, very different. She's inside instead of outside, no birds, but you can tell she's very comfortable, affluent, well-dressed. 
Ten of Pentacles, the whole family. No grandparents and no dogs running around though. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. Check out all these stones on his shield and his breastplate. Very cool castle. Next suit is wands, Ace of Wands. Look at these symbols on her hand, or his hand, her hand, I don't know, on the hand. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Wow. That reminds me of Noah Art and the people are going on to the art, except they're not going on the art, they're going somewhere up the mountain. I don't know why that triggered that. <laughs> that and me, but this scene reminds me of Noah's art and people were getting on it. All right, four of wands, five of wands, six of wands, Seven of Wands, Battle, Eight of Wands. This is different. It's not fast moving. It's just stuck in this crystal. Unless it's showing that it just fell into that. Well, there is lightning. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Now this, I think, is my most favorite card in the whole deck. I really, really like what it's conveying. It's like two warriors. They don't have shoes. They're in a cave, like, and the connection between them, you, it can be felt very close. And the reason I said they're warrior is because how they're resting. Okay, she's facing this way and he's facing that way. So they have each other's back, 180 degrees, 180 degrees together. They have the complete field of vision. So if any intruders or enemy come, you know, they have view of vision on either side. And it doesn't look like they're part of this world because they have uh, symbols on their third eye, their forehead. Really, really like this card. I think I must have been a warrior in a past life. <laughs> I always like this, this 180 and 180 view with two people having each other's back and together having the whole 360 view. Must have triggered something from my past life. Okay, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, interesting. Whenever that creature is, is that a wolf mix? Queen of Wands and King of Wands. Final suit of Swords, Ace of Swords, beautiful. Cool scene. Two of Swords, pretty traditional. Three of Swords, wow. Total betrayal, pain, sorrow. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Leaving, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. She's not blindfolded and her hands aren't tied. Very different, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Definitely Nightmare. This is a very gruesome Nine of Swords compared to the tradition of Nine of Swords, someone waking up, sitting on their bed. There's like dead people stabbed all over the place in the back. But this Ten of Swords isn't as bad. The Nine of Swords is worse than the Ten of Swords, but I guess the person, you know, in the movies where when someone die, their body just, in, just disintegrate. That's my first impression. Maybe the person was here and they disintegrated and they went back up to the light. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords.
of swords. And here are the backs one more time. Wow, very, very deep deck, very deep deck. I will probably be using it to do readings, even though, it, you know, she suggests we do meditation. I'll probably use it for both. So let's take a look at the guidebook. So it's Low Scarabeo, so you get different uh, languages, English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. A letter to the reader. And so I, this is the part that I skim really quick before I start recording. Using the spiritual tarot, the kana. And then she goes into the cards. Uh, the voice, the vision, the concept, and the meaning. No pictures of the cards, just uh, about a paragraph write up of each card. And it's in different languages. Okay. So just standard Los Garabeo, little white book. All right, so that completes our walkthrough of the spiritual tarot. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, I'm very happy I got this deck. I think it's going to provide very good in-depth readings for me. All right, so as usual, if you are interested, I will put the link uh, in the description underneath the video, and you can uh, purchase it or read more about it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.